Nicole Scott here for Mobile Geeks. I'm at the LG G4 launch event here in Singapore, and I'm about to put their new flagship device up against HTC's with the one. What do you think is going to win, leather or metal? So here we have the HTC One M9, and over here we have the LG G4. Now the HTC is a five-inch device. It's got a 1080p display, Snapdragon 810 processor with three gigabytes of RAM. Uh, on the right here, we have a 5.5-inch display, so you can see that it is much bigger. Now, this is a 2560 by 1440 display, and it is also a, a quantum IPS panel. Uh, this is only an IPS LCD. Now, the displays, I think, are just... LG has knocked it right out of the park. Now, I have the brightness turned down on this way, way down, because otherwise the display will just blow out the camera. So you can just see that. I mean, that's at such a, such a low brightness. Now, if we check out LG... That's on auto brightness, let me just take that off. Right, still, still not as bright. What LG has going on with the G4 is completely out of control. This is easily one of the top five displays currently on the market. Now, if we just keep on going, this, is, this actually has a different processor under the hood. This is a Snapdragon 808. This is a hexa-core processor running at 1.8 gigahertz. Also comes with three gigabytes of RAM. Now, one thing that is uh, sorely lacking or actually it's really lacking on most other devices but is available on both of these is a micro SD card. So this is good up to two terabytes and I believe the HTC is also good at probably up to one or two terabytes. It seems pretty common these days for future proofing uh, your devices. Now this is running Android 5.0, this is running Android 5.1. Um, LG is the only one on the market right now to come out with something with an Android 5.1 but that's because it's one of the latest handsets. Now when it comes to thickness, you can see that the LG is uh, slightly longer than the M9, which is a bit shocking because the M9 is already very long. But don't forget that the LG actually has a 5.5 inch display versus a five inch display. So that's the reason for the extra length. Uh, HTC really has no reason uh, putting out such a long phone with such a small display. So if we just check out that, the bezels on the, on the, on the one are just completely out of control. Now, one of the things that um, we're going to see that's a huge difference, that's actually a deal breaker between the, the One and the LG, is going to be the camera. So on the front here, we have an 8 megapixel camera. And then on the uh, HTC, it's a 4 megapixel, but it's the ultra pixel. So now let's just actually turn the camera on on both of these, because the HTC will actually have better low light performance. And so you can see that, because the, the ultra pixel is actually uh, one of the better low light cameras on the market. Um, what they have on the front here is not going to compare to what HTC has on the front here. So if you're looking at front facing camera capabilities, this would be probably the, one of the only big advantages of going with the HTC. That and it's a great industrial design. This two-tone metal is quite striking. Uh, so you can see the gold there on the side and then the um, unibody back. Now the HTC does feel great in hand, but you have to give it to the leather. I mean, it just feels soft and supple. One of the things that I am a little bit concerned about with the H uh, sorry, with the LG is that this is a very difficult tanning process. So it's a, called it's a vegetable tanning. So this is the same finish that you get from a luxury handbag. So it takes three months to put this dye in. So they put it in with like plant materials, with vegetable materials like bark or something that is with high tannin. And then uh, they let it cure for three months. And that's what allows it to age more naturally with your hand is this vegetable curing process. So the oils and the UV and the light will actually age the smartphone in, in, in quite, quite a nice way. So whereas with the HTC, you can almost see, where is it? I kind of feel like the two-tone's not doing that well. Right, so they're, they're on the corner. Now, I've been, I have been using this HTC as my dedicated handset for uh, several weeks. So the fact that with no, with no case, we have some chipping and scuffing on the corner there just isn't cool to me. So in terms of build quality, um, right now, I'm not over, I, I, am, I, am, I, I, love, I love the overall design, but I think that the two-tone finish isn't all that it's cracked up to be. Exactly the same problem that I have with the LG. Not exactly sure what it's going to be cracked up to in the long term. Because this is such a difficult process, I'm going to, I'm going to be interested to see how LG um, has managed to do this, especially with the removable back cover, uh, makes it even more difficult to secure leather onto polycarbonate. So just taking a look at the killer feature of the G4, 
G4, and it, it's the camera. So this is a 16 megapixel shooter, but LG actually has a laser autofocus right in here, and then they have something called a uh, color spectrum sensor. So this is actually going to be directly oh, for really? using white balance. Oh yes. no, they're kicking me out. All right, so. The shuttle bus will be ready at 12 o'clock for you to get back to the hotel. So we're going to have all of you gather at the lobby at 12 o'clock. And this is for those of you, our guests, who are staying at Mandarin Hotel. So please gather at the lobby by 12 p.m., 10 minutes from now. Thank you. Right, so the camera is going to be the biggest difference between these two devices. Now, this is a 20 megapixel shooter, two tone flash, 16 megapixel shooter, two tone flash, but the LG just has so many advantages. It has a laser autofocus, so it's going to focus more quickly in the dark, um, as well as just take overall faster photos. And then it has something called a, uh, a color spectrum sensor, which is actually dedicated for the white balance. So it's gonna take photos that are more true to color. Now we all, we all know how disappointing the camera is on the HTC One M9, so I won't even get into a direct comparison. Uh, both of these actually will be able to shoot raw. The HTC will be able to shoot raw very soon. Um, and, the M, uh, and the LG G4 does it right out of the box. So if you're a camera lover, it's almost not a fair comparison. The LG G4 just whips the HTC One M9. But if camera's not important to you and that beautiful aluminum, all metal chassis and the way it feels in your hand matters and it will to a lot of people, there are, some still, there are still some reasons to love the M9. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it. What's your problem? Why not? doesn't mean anything to you and it's the world to me. Yeah.